Today I rise to encourage my colleagues to not only support this amendment, but to support women across the state of Michigan. In the proposed budget before you, vital funding to support women's health care access would be eliminated. And Mr. Speaker, I'll be brief, but I do want to share a personal story. Um, growing up, I had debilitating menstrual cramps to the point where I would be missing school, and I, my grades suffered because of that. Um, and, going, and this continued on through college. When I decided to go to law school, I decided to take matters into my own hands and get birth control so that I could maintain um, my studies. I went to try to get my, the services from my doctor, but she wouldn't let me because I didn't have insurance at the time because I had aged off of my parents' insurance. My only alternative, because I didn't have insurance, was to go to Planned Parenthood to get the services that I need. And fortunately, I was able to go through law school without having um, any additional troubles, um, debilitating pain and suffering from my menstrual cramps. But without these changes uh, to the budget before us, the body risks sending a concerning and deeply troubling message about the ownership they feel women and the private medical decisions those women of those women are legally entitled, entitled to make with their service providers. Michigan women deserve better than that. As women increasingly become the sole or primary breadwinner in their home, their ability to make informed and personal medical decisions is crucial, not only to their own health, but well-being and our economy as a whole. To remove their ability to access, to access a crucial component of their health care not only jeopardizes their families, but hurts us all in the long run. I urge all of my colleagues to join me in supporting the women and families across our state and in your respective districts. Through your vote to support this amendment. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The question is on the adoption of the amendment. The clerk will open the board. The amendment is not adopted. <laughs>